King Zhou Li's poor governance led to unrest in the country, causing him to flee and dragging his son, the crown prince Zhou Xian, into the chaos as well. When the palace was surrounded and the country was in turmoil, the crown prince managed to escape the palace with the help of a minister. Facing great danger, King Zhou Li fled to the countryside to take care of himself. However, when the crown prince received word that he needed to flee, the palace was already surrounded. The minister helped the crown prince escape and hide in his own home. Why was the crown prince, who was not at fault, dragged into the situation by his father's mistakes? The angry people searched the palace but would not find King Zhou Li, so they turned to his son instead. One reason was to vent their anger, and the other was because the new king, the crown prince, would surely seek revenge against those who rebelled when he took the throne. When the crown prince was hiding in the minister's home, he was accidentally discovered and the minister's home was surrounded as well. The people demanded that the minister turn over the crown prince, threatening to burn down the house if he did not comply. If the minister turned over the crown prince, he would certainly be killed by the angry mob. In desperation, the minister handed over his own son, claiming he was the crown prince, and unfortunately, the poor minister's son was executed in the crown prince's place. Then, two proxy ministers of state restored the previous method of governance and slowly, the people's anger subsided, allowing crown prince Zhou Xian to officially become king. At first, crown prince Zhou Xian performed well because his father died at the hands of the angry people. If he did not work hard, he might have met the same fate as his father. During the chaos in the Zhou dynasty, the other feudal states were rising and the Zhou dynasty was increasingly ignored by them. The feudal states should have protected the Zhou king, but now, some of them turned a blind eye to the Zhou dynasty's affairs and some even attacked the Zhou dynasty over minor issues. One time, a feudal state attacked the Zhou dynasty along with a minority group over a small disagreement, and the Zhou dynasty mobilized its national army to resist, but its strength was too weak and the rebels were about to reach the capital. The Zhou dynasty could only seek help from a few friendly feudal states to resolve the crisis. As he grew older, Crown Prince Zhou Xian became stubborn and repeated his father's mistakes, refusing to listen to different opinions. Crown Prince Zhou Xian deluded himself into thinking he was still the king of the world and began to arbitrarily intervene in the affairs of other feudal states. The state of Lu was selecting a crown prince, and according to protocol, the elder son should inherit the throne. However, Crown Prince Zhou Xian saw the younger son of the king of Lu and liked him very much, so he wanted the younger son to become the king of Lu. This caused chaos in the state of Lu, which valued protocol above all else and had the most complete system of protocol in the Zhou dynasty. The people of Lu were proud of their system of protocol, so they rebelled, killing the younger son who was the heir and making the elder son the heir. King Xian of Zhou believed that his opinions were being opposed, so he sent his army to attack the state of Lu and ultimately killed the older son, making the younger son's son the new heir. King Xian's actions, which involved breaking traditional rituals and protocols, caused many of the other states to voice their concerns. Slowly, more and more of the states stopped communicating with the Zhou dynasty, even those that had previously been allies. King Xian couldn't understand why the other states were behaving this way, and he died while feeling frustrated and depressed. After King Xian's death, his son, King Yu of Zhou, ascended to the throne. Yes, that King Yu, the infamous one.